Uh, so we've already done multiplication of matrices. Now, powers of matrices, raising a matrix to the power of four, or five, or six, or whatever, that's just multiplication repeated, and that's exactly how we treat it. So, for instance, a equals one, three, negative two, one. Find a squared. Well, a squared is just that matrix multiplied by itself. And you've really just got to do the grunt work here and actually do exactly that. There's no fast way to do it. So it's the row times the column, the row times the column, the row times the column, and the row times the column. Just a little mistake I made here. Um, so a squared is simply a times a. Go through the motions, and now we have negative five, six, negative four, negative five. Now, if the question instead was find a to the three, then that's going to be equal to a squared times a. So unfortunately, there's no fast way to do this. You just find a squared and then multiply it by a after that. So it's negative 5, 6, negative 4, negative 5 and multiply it by a which is 1, 3, negative 2, 1. And again go through that process there and we should get a new answer here. shouldn't be that. Negative 5 times 3, 6 times 1. This is what happens when you try to rush. Negative 5 times negative uh, 1 plus 6 times negative 2. Try again. Negative 4 times 1 plus negative 5 times negative Two. That looks better. And there's our final answer. A cubed equals A squared times A. Uh, now, you're going to have to be uh, really, really careful here because if you were to go one step further, I know it's going to be really tempting to say, oh, A to the 4, that's equal to A squared times A squared. But it is unfortunately not the same because remember that the order you multiply things in matters. Um, so you actually have to do a to the 3 times a because you have to step through each step in this process. Each one changes the matrix, which changes the matrix after it. So if you were to do a squared times a squared, that is not going to work. That's going to work. All right, so that's powers of matrices. I had a bit of trouble with my calculations in there. Make sure you take your time.